and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I thought we could do a self-isolation, stay at home, get ready with me because where else are we going? So I'm going to be using the Me, Myself and Mitchell palette from Beauty Bay. This is my favourite palette ever. It's got the sickest packaging, nearly broke the packaging. All your warm colours on one side and all your cool tones on the other side. And then you've got a mirror. And the mirror, what way is it? The mirror clips in, so it literally goes in the middle. <laughs> Wrong way. It goes in the middle, like that. So you can even, if you've got a flat surface, put it on your surface and the mirror, the mirror stands up basically. So I'm gonna do like a, maybe a neutral eye, but with a little bit of a cut crease and a shimmer. Please ignore me here because I'm gonna do that at the end of the video. So I'm gonna start off with the OK moisturizer. This is unreal. So I literally get like tiniest bit ever. So it's obviously, it's called the Glower Moisturizer. So you need the tiniest bit ever. And I literally just put it in the middle of my hand and it just put that all over my face. You can literally see my skin's glowing already as well. So unreal, I'd highly recommend this. I'll double check the price point for this one because I was sent this in a PR package but I'll put the link to it in my bio so if you want to have a little look you can check it out. And then foundation, I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation and I am using the shade, I don't actually know where the shade is but yeah. So I'll put I got like three little blobs, well, like big blobs because my skin's a bit on my face. And then just pat it in. I use like a stipple brush, so I pat it in. So if you want more of a full coverage, pat it into your skin rather than pull. And then obviously if you want more of a thinner coverage, just pull it across your face and make sure you bring it down to your neck here because you don't want no lines. Now I do pull it across my forehead because I don't like a really thick foundation on me on my forehead because I am oily as anything like horrific. So yeah, I thought I'd do this video because we're obviously not going anywhere. But I'm glad that we've kind of gone on lockdown as well because you've got idiots going out in the street. Like stay at home, do you want to die? Honestly, I get so frustrated when these people, like, I've seen people on Instagram and I feel like messaging them, like, hold your tongue, Georgia. But then you've got good people who stay at home and don't spread the virus, like me and you, hopefully you, but yeah, I definitely am. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. So I am now using the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Light Sand. I didn't actually use this until about two weeks ago. No, more before maybe about three weeks ago and it's changed my life like the coverage is insane i'm using a peaches and cream brush and this is the pc28 and i'm just patting that in then i'm going <clears throat> then i'm going to use the makeup revolution foundation stick in f13 put a tiny bit of this just tap it onto your cheekbone, tap a little bit where you're receiving. <laughs> and then just a tiny bit on your nose because you don't want a brown nose. And then I'm gonna use a Real Techniques brush. I don't know the name, oh, Multitask Cheek Brush. This is, this is really old, this one, as you can tell, but I don't spray the brush because it's a cream product so it just moves it if you spray it. I mean some people prefer to spray but I prefer not to. I'm not going to set my face, I'm going to leave my concealer unset because I want it to look nice and dewy but I'm going to put some bronzer on so the bronzer I'm going to use is the Morphe Megastar bronzer. This was out of a limited edition collection but they brought I can't remember how many shades I do wear from Morphe and I forgot. We brought a lot of new shades out, so I'm just gonna get another Real Techniques brush. This is the number 
for 300 it's really old so i'm literally just gonna tap into it rub over this is basically just setting your cream contour from before so rub over it rub under your chin Then for blush, I'm gonna use the Miss Slim. Oh my god, a pigeon just nearly flew into my window. So my room's downstairs, so basically the back room. So I'm looking into my garden at the minute, and a pigeon just basically nearly flew into me. So anyway, I'm using the Miss Slim Trio Bronzing Blush in the shade Half Baked. This is unreal as well. So it's got like three different tones to the blush. So it's sensational. So I'm using sorry. I'm using the PC03 brush and I'm just coating that because I love blush. So we're just going to rub that up and down. The good thing about this blush is it's buildable as well, so you can literally put as much as you want on. So I'm going to start with the P. Louise base in the shade Rumour 2. Now I've got this much for both eyes and I'm going to use the PC28 again. Some people use a thin flat brush, but I don't really like a structured brow, so I prefer just to use a fluffy brush. So I'm literally just going to tap into the base and tap it on my eye. Sorry about the faces. Also, if you've got any series that I can watch on Netflix, on the Fire Stick, on anything, please let me know because I've watched every single thing on Netflix. And I keep going back to American Horror Story. And even though Evan Peters is fit, I'd rather not see him for a while because I've been watching it like nearly every day. So I'm going to start with the shade Modest, which is this colour. And I'm using a very, very old BH Cosmetics brush. I think it's number 11. The number is rubbed off, so I can't see. I'm literally just doing very, very light circular motions. Done my eye, I'm just going to repeat this on the other eye and then we'll carry on. I'm going to use the same brush again and I'm going to go into the shade Man Made, which is, I've just my finger in that pink shade, which is this one here. And I am just going to put this on the end of my eye. A tiny, 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 tiny bit of product on the end. So once you're done both eyes, I'm gonna oh, I'm just gonna be so bad. I'm gonna go back into the shade modest and just clean up them edges where it's a little bit like dodgy. So a little bit on your brush, same brush again. Keep knocking the middle. Just go over the edges just to clean that up a little bit. So we're finally going to change brush. I'm going to use the Morphe E17 brush, which is sensational if you haven't got it already. Oh, hi me. And I'm going to use the shade Muse, which is like a dark big and deep brown colour, which is this one. I'm going to go into that one and I'm just going to swell my brush into the pan. And I'm going to leave... <laughs> I'm going to leave this bit in my eye because I'm just going to put... Oh God, like a shimmer there and I just want it soft and really blown out on the end. So I'm going to put this just on the end of my eye. And then once you've got your product on, just start doing your little semicircles outwards. Once we've done both eyes, I'm going to get the Peel Louise base again. But I'm not going to use a brush, I'm going to use my hand, well, my finger, to put it on my eye because I don't want it structured, I want it quite natural. So, using my pointing finger, I'm going to tap into the product like this. Make sure it's nice and tacky. And literally, just tap onto your eye. We're going to use the man-made shade, which was the second shade we used. I 
And then last but not least, we're gonna use Muse. Which gives you a nice, soft, crazy insect. Then I'm gonna use the shade Master, which is this gold shade in the palette. And I'm gonna put that on the P. Louise base uh, to give it something to stick to. I'm gonna use my ring finger, is it your ring finger? Your middle finger? Wing it, do that too, to people you don't like. I'm gonna rub it in and I'm just gonna literally just throw it on your eye. <laughs> I'm doing a video. I'm doing it now. <laughs> my dad just <laughs> come to the window and was like, what are you doing? <laughs> So I'm going to use the Peaches and Cream pigment in Gatsby and I'm just going to put that over the eyeshadow I've just put on. So I'm literally, please ignore me if I say literally because it's a habit. So we're going to just tap that on. Now as you can see this is very pigmented so we just need to tap very lightly because if you don't it literally does go everywhere then i'm going to use the shade monday which is this dark brown color and i'm going to create like an eyeliner effect so i'm going to use the absolute fave brush ever 213 from morphe i'm going to start at the end of my eye and I'm going to just rub the product on the end. Now I've got a little bit of fallout, but it doesn't matter because I'll clean it up at the end. So as close as you can get to your lash line. So for mascara, I'm using the Nabla Major Pleasure Mascara. I must admit it's not my favourite, but... I just, I'm not really a big mascara buyer, so I haven't went and got another one. It's really clumpy, and I've got no eyelashes to have clumpy eyelashes, so it doesn't do me any favours at all, but this is what the brush is like. So, just coat my lashes in the mascara. And then for lashes, I'm going to use the Morphe Melrose Av Lashes. These are so cheap, they're only £4 as well, so... If you like light, fluffy lashes, these are unreal. And then for glue, I'm using the Duo Latex Free Glue. It's gone pink because I, I can't remember what I've done, but I used the pink pigment for something. Oh, I'd done pink lashes with the concealer and a pink pigment, and then I'd put glue on the band and it went pink. So yeah, my glue's pink, but you can't see it because it dries anyway, so. So lashes are on, so for under the eye I'm going to use the shade Muse again which was this darker colour and I'm going to smoke it out underneath. So to do that we're going to use the E36 from Morphe, this is another amazing little smudger brush so you need to own one of these. I'll link all my brushes and products in the box below so if you want to have a little look you can. And just get as close to the lash line as you can. And for eyeliner, I'm going to use the Pixie from Head to Toe range, um, Endless Shade Stick in the shade One and Done. So it's like a goldy colour. And I'm just going to pop this in my waterline. So. Oh! Love that. So that's the majority of my eye done. The only thing I'm going to do is add a brow highlight and I'm going to use the shade Muffin out of the Beauty Bay palette, which is this one here. And I'm going to use that highlight, which I'll show you. So the shade Muffin that I use for the brow highlight, I'm just going to build that up onto my cheekbones. Thank you. 
I love her. Love it. I'm gonna soak my brows today and I've run out my favourite brow pencil, which is Morphe Hazelnut Pencil. And I am a broken woman because you don't realise how much you love something until it's gone. So, so for soap brows, I'm gonna use the Pear Soap, which is a clear soap, and the You Do You from Collection Hydrate and Primer Spray. Now, I thought I'd use a primer spray because obviously primer is the same makeup, so this is obviously gonna set your brows. So I'm just gonna do a couple of sprays from a distance as well, so it's not very close, and use a spoolie and just rub that into the product. Once your spoolie is full of soap, we're gonna just push that into your eyebrows. Then I'm gonna use the Morphe Brow Cream in Java. As I said, I do usually use hazelnut, but I'm gonna use this really lightly because I've run out of hazelnut. Then for lips, I'm gonna use the Morphe Makeup Talk Lip Liner. So I'm gonna I overline my lips, which some people don't like, but who cares? And then for lipstick, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution and Sof collab in the shade Cake. This is unreal. It's one of my favourite lipsticks ever and just saw some makeup drawers out and found it. So it's my fave. Then we're gonna sort this hair out because it is horrific because of flats on it. So let's plug my straighteners in and we'll curl my hair. So this is the finished look with my hair all done. I've got a lot of hair, so it took me a while. Yeah, so this is obviously my first video and while we are all in self-isolation, I'm gonna be doing some more. So if you've got any suggestions that you wanna see me doing, any recommendations, if you want me to do a Q&A, a skincare, let me know in the box below and I'll definitely do that for you. Um, I just wanna say I hope you're all keeping well. Um, obviously Jordan is fairly poo time, but you know what, take a positive from it. We're getting stuff done, we're being productive coronavirus yeah i have put my social links in the box below as well so follow me on instagram and tiktok if you want to see more of my ugly mush see you in my next video